Guys, it's week 10, it's 5K week. Congratulations on making it this far. Not everybody makes it to week 10. So if you've been here since the beginning from week one and worked your way up through the weeks, I wanna say a massive, massive well done to you. Today, I'm gonna to hopefully give you five top tips to help you get through your 5K as smoothly and as easily as possible. So number one top tip is to make sure you are rested. You don't wanna go into this too stale, you don't wanna go into it too tired. So trying to get the balance is a little bit of a fine art. So I recommend two to three days without having done any intense exercise before you try to tackle this 5K. So the last exercise you may have done may have been your 20, 22 minute gentle homework run and then have a nice rest. And then the day before, if you want to do something, you can do some mobility exercises. So your dynamic stretches would be a really good way of keeping mobile without wearing yourself out. Number two, top tip is to make sure you do your warm up. Of course, you can go to the week one or week two video and use that warm up there. But I do hear people crying. This warm up is gonna take away all of my energy and I'm gonna to be too tired to tackle my 5K nonstop if I do that warm up first. So here's a little bit of a compromise and a solution if you're feeling like that. I would like to encourage you to do your dynamic stretches. So that'll be your heel flicks, your high knees and your leg swings and do some arm rotations. Do those in your home before you leave. So roughly five minutes doing that. Then go out for a five to 10 minute brisk walk, have a little bit of time to just settle your nerves. And once you've done that and you start your 5K, the first one to two kilometers is, is going to be a continuation of your warm up. So going super, super slow, making sure that you don't overdo it. And you can use that time as part of your warm up. So following on from number two is number three, top tip is your pacing. Please remember to go slow and steady. Today is not about speed. Today is about just getting around and completing this 5K. We're trying to get around this 5K today with no walking breaks. But of course, if we need to have some walking breaks, then you need to schedule these in before you go out. So you're not gonna feel disappointed. You're not gonna feel disheartened on the way around. If you know you're not ready to do your 5K yet without some walking breaks, just try to decrease the amount of walking breaks from what you did last week in week nine. If around your 5K you're feeling like you've got more energy, wait until the last kilometer or maybe even the last two kilometers to then raise the pace. If you've got energy, save it for the end. Of course, time doesn't matter with this, but if you are looking to improve after this course is finished and you're looking to practice your 5K, then jotting down your time at the end of this is gonna be a good little way of testing improvements. So number four. I want to encourage you to look up, look around you, look at the scenery. Try not to look down at the ground the whole time and just be thinking about how much this is hurting you. Have a look around, distract yourself, notice things that you haven't noticed before. I'd like to encourage you to keep good form, good posture, running tall, and trying to stay relaxed throughout the 5K. And finally, with that in mind, that brings us on to number five. It's gonna be a good idea to prepare some go-to instructions or motivational speak. Instructions might be something like just to the next lamppost or just get round the next corner or just another two minutes. Something that's gonna keep you going and something that's gonna keep you focused. Other people respond really well to motivational phrases like, come on, you can do it. You know you've got this, you're strong. This is something that I tend to do when I'm running. I'm like, Sarah, you're strong. So I just remind myself that I'm strong when I'm going and it just keeps me going. If you're feeling like you need that extra motivation, then having those go-to phrases can be really useful on the run. So all that leaves now is for me to say, enjoy yourself, have fun on your 5K. That's what it's all about. Remember to go easy, just enjoy yourself. I really want to know how it goes on and I want to say thank you again for joining in our 0 to 5K. Please write in the comments, tell me how your 5K goes. If you want to revisit any of the sessions or you need to go back through them again, please do. Please share it with your friends, share it with your family. I hope you've enjoyed the experience. Thank you so much for joining in. I've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed it. I really look forward to hearing about it. And hopefully I'll see you on some future videos that are going to help you progress your 5K and maybe even work up to 10K. So please do subscribe and tell your friends and keep an eye out for what comes in the future.